Welcome to Mole Hill. Now, this isn't a sequel to Wind in the Willows. It's one of Vancouver's oldest neighborhoods. It's hard to believe, though, not too long ago, these houses were run down and slated for demolition. But a group of area residents and heritage activists refused to let that happen. They took on City Hall, and they won big. Nestled between the downtown business district and Stanley Park, Vancouver's West End is one of the most densely populated urban neighborhoods in North America. Over the past decades, high-rise buildings and luxury condos have replaced most of the historic houses built at the turn of the century. But one block of Vancouver's oldest original heritage homes is still intact. Named Mole Hill after Vancouver settlers Elizabeth and Henry Mole, it's an historic collection of 26 houses built between 1888 and 1908. For years, the houses provided low-cost housing. But since the 1950s, the houses had been on the city's hit list. It wanted to demolish them to expand the adjacent park. The residents protested. Enter Blair Petrie. He's the guy who galvanized the community and spent the next eight years fighting City Hall to save the houses. Blair was a musician living in an attic apartment when he heard that the houses were to be demolished. I always support causes like this when they're someone else's cause, and I thought, well, this is on my doorstep. I think it's up to me to do something. Today, the future of the homes is secure. A project to restore and preserve their heritage is almost halfway complete. 26 houses will be transformed into 168 self-contained units, most of them social housing funded by the city and the province. The project protects Vancouver's past and provides affordable housing at the same time. They call it living heritage. Longtime tenant Boomer Wilson moved into a $10 a week room in 1966 and stayed for 34 years. Today, he's in a ground floor suite. There's a lot more room for me. And there's no stairs. I'm not too good on stairs now. I wouldn't want to move after them 34 years and one neighbor would want to move somewhere else. If these buildings would have been demolished and people forced out, uh, many of them would have died. There's no doubt about it. Can you imagine Boomer? He told me once, he said, Blair, if I ever have to leave here, I'll die. And it's not just the house or the, the unit, it's the neighborhood. They're, they're in a place that they're familiar with, they have friends. In Mole Hill, everyone had a support network. Neighbors like Leah and her daughter Gabby, they're new tenants. They moved to Mole Hill after Leah's husband died suddenly, leaving her few options. I have a yard now. They've done such a beautiful job with everything. And it's just, it's just, it's becoming a little community. It feels really safe here too. It has literally saved my life. It really has. The scope of the restoration is massive. Instead of tearing down the buildings, they selectively deconstruct and preserve most of the materials in the homes. 600 tons of framing wood, almost 150,000 feet of siding, and over 400,000 feet of plaster and lath were saved from the landfill. It takes twice as long when you're saving the interior heritage elements. Everything to be reused must be carefully removed. Mole Hill's project designer is architect Sean McEwen. Saving the buildings themselves is very important. Uh, we didn't fill the landfill with uh, all kinds of construction debris and replace them with a series of towers. Uh, and we tried to save as much of the building interiors as we could. Blair Petrie now lives across the lane from his old apartment. Come on in, take a look around. Uh, in here, this leads to the living room. I used to live in a little uh, 400 square foot or less uh, attic suite with a bathroom downstairs that was shared by up to nine other people. And now I live with my partner on uh, the main floor of a house in a one bedroom unit with its own bathroom. And we have a, a beautiful old uh, heritage mantelpiece, um, fur floors, uh, it's just incredible. The first month I was in there, I was thinking, when do we have to go home? 
The Mole Hill Restoration Project recycles the intricate details of the past, but at the same time applies cutting edge technology. Norm Hodson, the consulting architect, decided on geothermal energy. It's very good for the environment as a heating method because really you're, you're relying on the ground source for a lot of your heating needs. There's still lots more work to be done and more battles to come. The residents want the lane closed to cars. The city says no, so far. People make buildings. You know, buildings alone don't mean anything. It's the, the connection to the people that really makes it worthwhile. It's a joy, I guess, that we're saving these buildings that are so intertwined with people's lives. We're trying to save rooming houses, uh, make them self-contained, maintain the interior heritage as well as exterior heritage. Uh, no one's ever done this on this kind of scale before.